Researchers at the CSIR have found a novel way of prolonging the shelf life and efficacy of supplements containing probiotics. Probiotics are healthy bacteria found naturally in the small intestines in the human body and help with the absorption of nutrients and boosting the immune system. Current probiotics on the market lose their efficacy due to storage conditions and gastric acids when ingested. There's conventional uh, technologies to improve the stability of probiotics, but these uh, conventional uh, processes expose the probiotic to uh, yeah, harsh conditions like uh, organic solvents or high temperatures or, or high shear. So we um, decided on a very unique and novel technology based on uh, supercritical carbon dioxide. And the advantage of this technology is that um, it only uses carbon dioxide as a process medium. Uh, so you don't, you're not including any organic solvents and you can use uh, very mild temperatures um, to liquefy your polymers for encapsulation of your, um, your probiotic. The technology has piqued the interest of entrepreneurs in the probiotics industry, where many probiotic-containing products do not meet the World Health Organization's minimum recommended concentration of probiotics to impart health benefits. Researchers use an interpolymer complex, where two polymers interact in a unique way with each other so that they become pH responsive. When this probiotic is encapsulated in the interpolymer complex system, it is preserved against the effects of temperature, humidity, and oxygen during storage. And when taken orally, it will be protected during the gastric transit and only get released in the intestine, where it's needed to replenish the microflora, thus improving its efficacy. We, we had a challenge of what is happening in the probiotics market and we needed a technology that can be able to meet that challenge. And we found it with CSIR because they had already, uh, over a period of time, worked and researched on this process of microencapsulation that helps coat the probiotic, which is the active. And then once it's coated, it means that it does not get destroyed either by the elements or doesn't get destroyed by the gastric acid. The CSI is, is the first organisation to use interpolymer complexation in combination with supercritical fluids. Um, so we've uh, came up with a polymer system that is not only soluble in or soluble in supercritical CO2, but can also form hydrogen bonding interactions with each other to form interpolymer complex. And uh, all of this can occur at uh, a very low temperature, a process temperature of 38 degrees Celsius, which is below the temperature where probiotics start to degrade. So when we came across the technology, we were very keen and very happy to see how we can uh, finally make it into a commercial product that would be available to uh, the public and offer the benefits of having uh, as much probiotics delivered to the gut. The encapsulated probiotics can be found in meal replacement and dietary supplements that cater for various wellness benefits. Researchers say the technology can potentially be used for the encapsulation of other sensitive actives, such as vitamins, enzymes or vaccines in the future.